Good morning. Rogani College of Engineering and Technology, aggregated with A plus grade by NAC, Department of Civil Engineering, CE 3402, Strength of Materials, Regulation 2021, A. Anand, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering. Here we are going to see the topic double integration method. So, in this deflection of cantilever with a point load at the free end by double integration method. A cantilever AB of length L fixed at the point A and free end at the point B and the and carrying a point load at the free end B as shown in figure. AB shows the position of the cantilever before any load is applied where the AB shows the position of cantilever after loading. This is the cantilever beam and a load acting at the free end. Mx is equal to minus Wl into L minus x. But bending moment at any section is also given by M is equal to Ea into d square by d square. Equating the two values of bending moment we get Ea into d square by d square is equal to minus W into L minus x is equal to minus W L plus W x. We are getting the first equation Ea into dy by dx is equal to minus WLx plus WX square divided by 2 plus C1 constant. Integrating again we get EIY is equal to minus WLx square divided by 2 plus W by 2 into x cube divided by 3 plus C1 x plus C2 constant. When c1 and c2 are constant of integrations the values are obtained by from boundary conditions which are the first condition is at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and second condition is x is equal to 0 slope dy by dx is equal to 0 at the fixed end the deflection and slopes are 0 so by substituting the boundary conditions we are getting the c1 is equal to 0 c2 is also 0 so by using these conditions we are getting the equations for slope minus wlx plus wx square by 2 and that is the third equation and fourth equation by deflection eiy is equal to minus wlx square by 2 plus wx cube divided by 6 this is the fourth equation by equating this fourth we know the deflection equations and there will be a negative sign shows that on tangent at B makes an angle of the anticlockwise directions with B, A, B. So here, therefore, theta B is equal to WL square by 2 EA. Substituting so YB for Y and X is equal to L in equations, we get minus W into L cube divided by 3. Therefore, YB is equal to WL cube divided by 3 EA that is negative sign shows the deflection is downwards so this is the final solutions thank you